Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with a quick video on how to make these scrappy journal cards and tags. Um, I've done this uh, or referenced it in a previous video and somebody asked me if I would go ahead and do one on video. So I'm kind of calling these uh, scrappy fall French tags and journal cards because I'm using some um, elements from Heather over at Ruby and Pearl and some of her French ephemera. So that's what we're going to do. I am still um, sick, as you can t probably tell by my voice. Um, it's now completely stuck in my throat and I'm uh, struggling with my voice and I'm still with the cough and yada, yada, yada. <laughs> I am feeling remarkably better in re in consideration of everything, but um, I am a little raspy, so I hope that you'll um, bear with me as we move through this. I might need to cough from time to time. I will ha try to do that as discreetly as possible. So I have already um, put some, some things together um, just to be ready and, and to have this take a little bit less time. So what I did is I bought some craft cardstock at uh, I think Hobby Lobby or <clears throat> Michaels or something. I believe it is uh, 100 pound. I'm not sure. Maybe 65 pound. It feels like 100 pound. Um, so we've already got these made up. So I thought we would go ahead and do them together. <clears throat> these are all for the the Autumn Garden Journal, which is the 2000 subscriber grand prize giveaway. So I will link the details in the description box as well, but we'll talk about it to here. So in order to qualify for the first and the second prize, you'll need to go back to the playlist for the Autumn Garden Journal and the Autumn Diary Journal and like each of the videos and then leave a meaningful comment um, in each video in order to qualify. So then I'll create a spreadsheet uh, for every video and then we'll, I'll just plug everybody's names into it and I'll draw from there. And what I mean by meaningful comment is just something that's engaging. Um, I love interacting with people. I've learned so much about you guys. Uh, through this series and through this giveaway as we prepare for the drawing and I adore it. It it fills my heart up. It's my happy place to um, it relate to you guys and to hear about your your world and um, when you share pieces of your life it is a gift to me and I really really love it. So uh, so that's the deal. It is also only available for folks in the United States and Canada. <clears throat> when I do the next uh, giveaway uh, for a future giveaway, I will probably be inserting the option for an Amazon gift card or something of that nature um, so that our international friends have a chance to win as well. I feel really bad that I cannot ship internationally. So, um, so yeah, so without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and ink these bits up and then we'll put them together. Okay, just finishing up here, just going to ink this base as well. So it is the day before Thanksgiving. Our Thanksgiving plans are kind of up in the air because um, our granddaughter woke up sick this morning and uh, with a fever and all of that, which is very, very sad. So not sure what tomorrow is going to hold, but I've just been putzing around a little bit in the studio, ran some errands this morning, and uh, because I've been so sick, I haven't had a chance to really get out and do anything um, like that. So I'm just reaching over here and grabbing some paper towels so that I have them ready for my gluing. <clears throat> I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac just because I love that it's um, it's just so predictable and um, it just works really well. So I am going to layer these up and I'm incorporating bits from the kit. So this is one of the images from the one of the kits. This is some embossed paper that I did and um, it's it's a 3D embossing folder um, on some of my coffee dyed paper and I just love how that turned out. I'm hoping that the lighting is okay. The weather is pretty gloomy here so I've got my ring light on hoping to help that. So when I'm um, kind of evaluating what I want to um, use on these scrappy tags and journal cards, I just kind of pick things I, I'd spend a lot of time actually playing around with um, just a pile of papers just to see what I was going to want and uh, and this is what I ended up with on this one so 
we're just going to be doing some layering which you know if you follow me you know that I love that so so yeah it's pretty pretty cool um, I'd love to hear what you guys are doing for uh, Thanksgiving do you hang out at home do you get together with family um, that kind of thing <clears throat> we um, we love to get together with our family um, my son lives up north so we don't um, see him and his family every holiday but um, we'll be seeing them at Christmas for sure just deciding if I want to tuck this under that paper I think I do so I'm going to try to weasel that in there I think I would prefer that yeah I like that so this one I think I'll leave as a journal card because I want I like that I just like the way it looks and I don't want to cut anything off I have this little piece of um, tissue paper, which I also love to incorporate into my pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and lay that down here as well, just deciding how I want it. Little fumbly fingers here. <clears throat> I'm just going to um, use my white glue for this and just get it. Um, actually, I'm going to think I'm going to put it on the tissue this time because I don't exactly know where I want it to land. So anyway, my daughter is supposed to be hosting, but she's the one that has the sick, the sick kids. So there might be an about face of plans for tomorrow. I'm not sure. I'm gonna go, kind of waiting to see what happens with our Kinsey girl. I feel so bad. There's so much sickness going around at school. It's insane. So I'm loving that. So we're gonna go ahead and get this down. She is such a sweetheart too, and she's really tough. So when she gets sick, um, yeah, it takes her down. So she's really, really tired and, and all of that. So <clears throat> there we go. So that is our first scrappy journaling card. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more ink. Um, and this is kind of fashioned after the style of Heather over at Ruby and Pearl. And I really enjoyed pulling all these pieces together. It's super relaxing um, to kind of just play with the papers and see what speaks to you. Uh, on this one, I might put a quote or something. We'll see, but not right now. So I'm going to go ahead and ink these ones up as well, and then we'll chat again. Just about to the end of this. So uh, on another personal note, today is a very big day in my um my bigger uh, family kind of picture. My older sister who's been in the hospital um, for, had been in the hospital for a week and uh, she is home now and um, still really struggling so she has an appointment to follow up with her doctor to see what needs to happen or um, hopefully come up with some other remedies. Uh, maybe something that they they're missing and then my uh, my mother who I don't I'm not in relationship with um, has been diagnosed with cancer and so it's kind of a sticky hard situation for me but she all has her first chemo today which is um, sad but um, so sending a lot of good her way and prayers even though I don't um, see her, uh, I want her to be okay, and I don't want her to suffer. And so, and then um, on a really bright note, my oldest niece is having a baby today. So that's really exciting. So lots and lots of things happening uh, in our world. This is embossed paper. This is a, a vintage music page and it's embossed so as I was trying to ink it it just kept breaking which I think is kind of part of the beauty of it so I'm going to be really um, um, gentle applying this glue so I can get this adhered really well so yeah my um, my niece uh, has had uh, a lot of issues not issues that's an understatement <clears throat> I don't want to divulge her story, but um, this baby is definitely a huge uh, celebration 
in their world and so I'm praying for her as well <clears throat> hoping to hear soon about the baby so I'm using some little um, cheesecloth here just kind of in the middle just to kind of layer this up a little bit I wanted to introduce this green uh, paper hold on oh, oh come on sticky fingers this green paper because I think it will go really well in the journal and then I've got this piece of lace it's one of my favorites to use and I just I love to put it behind things so I actually I think I'm going to attach it whoops to the back of the picture first and then we will put it on the um, on the base <clears throat> oh my goodness <laughs> we've got some glue issues don't we so so anyway, I have a lot on my mind um, and a lot to be grateful for, obviously, but it is a lot of stuff to be thinking about all in one day. <clears throat> there we go. So that's going to go kind of like that. I was thinking about doing a video series you guys can let me know if you'd be interested i did a um redid my studio back in uh july of 2020 2022 <laughs> and um i am completely done now everything is exactly as i want it to be so i thought it might be fun to go back and do kind of just um show you my organizational um, the ways that I organize things and stuff. So I'm thinking about that. Um, just kind of maybe a once a week kind of thing until I get through the studio. So there we go. Isn't she just adorable? Adorable. We can't really see the cheesecloth. I should have done that a little differently, but that's okay. On to a really tall one here. I'm just trying to take a mental picture of how I have this laid out because I always forget. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and again take a moment to ink. Okay, there we go. So I had printed out some uh, paper on vellum, and this is, I believe, from TaylorMade Journals. It's a vintage wallpaper, I'm pretty sure. Um, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure. So we're going to go ahead and put this together. I'm just trying to keep everything relatively in order here. I think I wanted that to go that way. Again, I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac. And then on the uh, vellum, I think I'm going to use, oh, it's not the right length. I need to tear that down. I'm going to reach for my tear ruler here really quick. I missed that. My apologies. Uh, some of them I kind of, I got fatigued, and so I didn't finish trimming every piece up for the video. So I'm just going to do that really quick here. There we go. I love this paper. Love it, love it. So I'm just debating on how I want to adhere this. I think I'll be okay to just put a bead um, along the long edges here. Hopefully. It's not like it's gonna super show or anything. The, the layering. <clears throat> well, fumble fingers today, though. For sure, for sure. So what I love about this is see how you can see the paper underneath, and that worked really well. You're not even seeing the glue. That's awesome. So, I mean, I guess there's a little bit of a glue line because it's darker over here but it just looks like it's more ink in my opinion. I don't mind this. I think this is part of the beauty of the way that uh, that Ruby creates that kind of just scrappy, scrappy look, which I really become fond of. I'm thinking about making a Christmas journal using 
some of her Christmas uh, kits that, that are out there now. <clears throat> and then off camera, I will tell you that I did, um, I did, goodness, I didn't trim this one either. I, pr I prepped all of my signatures for the autumn journal, the autumn garden journal. So I will show you that um, maybe at the end of this video, if not um, in the next video, um, just to show you what I selected and then probably do it in another video because I think I'm going to show you how I, I do a hidden spine. So I just thought this strip would be really pretty going up this side. So I'm going to do that really quick. Something a little bit different. What I love about the scrappy tags and this kind of um, the scrappy way of doing it is there's really no right or wrong. It's just whatever kind of um, pleases your eye, you know, when you're pulling stuff and laying it out. So it's pretty forgiving, which I love. There we go. I love that. Oh my goodness. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous. And then, oh, where was this supposed to go? Whoops. Well, I guess we could put it on top. Maybe it was supposed to go, you know what, I think it was supposed to go under. I, I think I'm going to try to pull this up. Um, we can do that probably merely because that is vellum um, that it's glued to. So I'm just going to set that aside and we're going to try that again in a second. This needs to go down first. So, pardon me. I love this um, this lace because it's got the little shiny little rhinestones, so beautiful. So I'm just going to put that there. As you know, if you've watched me at all, you know that I love I love layering, and uh, I think it's just quite beautiful. I'm going to grab my scissors here and see if I can trim that lace just a tad bit right there. There we go. So now let's go in with this. I probably need to add some more glue though. Um, especially because we're going over the lace. So I want to make sure that's nice and um, glued down. <clears throat> I was trying to take a mental picture of, of um, the, the, the uh, composition here. I'm just moving that over a little bit this time. Um, I think I'm going to be covering up some of my rhinestones, but that's okay. And I think, oh, maybe, maybe we'll go off to that. I want to see that French script, though, so I'm going to go ahead and put this down. And I want to keep it on to the, um, to the right of that, that vellum line also, because I think that looks really cool. And then we're going to put our gorgeous little girl on top of that. And again, I may decide to go and put some words on these. I just didn't really want to make a decision about it right now, especially if I don't end up using them all in this journal. Um, then I can um, use them somewhere else if I don't end up using them all here. There we go. Look at that beauty. Oh, wait, let's make this one into a tag completely forgot about that. I want this to be a tag too. I'm going to do that really quick. My brain is not working very well. I know I keep saying that, you guys. I appreciate you being patient with me. I have been sick for so long, it feels like. I just can't, can't get well. Yeah, I like that, and I, I'll probably put some kind of topper on it. I'm not sure, and I'm going to leave this as a journal card, as I mentioned, but I do want this one to be a tag, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this corner. And using that trick where you just turn that little piece over so that you can get the same angle on the other side. I don't know where I saw that initially on on YouTube. I'm going to try to trim this a little bit too. That's a little bit too too rough. There we go. Ink that up again. These are gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Love it. 
I like to kind of get that grit, that lace gringed up a little bit too if I can, uh, at least on the edges. So there we go. Let's go to this one. So I'm trying to take a mental picture. This one's a lot simpler, so I think we'll be good to just do this. I'm going to go ahead and ink these and I'll be right back. I love how the um, vellum inks up around the edges. Love using that. This is an image, I think this is like a journal card from one of the kits I just printed it on a 20 pound paper um, that I love. Um, I love the look of this as well. Just gonna kind of age it up a little bit here. I like that look too. Let's see if I can see a date on this. I can't read it, it's too little. It's old though. <laughs> okay, so let's get this one on as well. So I think I had this one on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Fabri-Tac again. if some of that darker edge shows so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that and then um, what did I I think I had the lace over top of all of this so we're gonna add this is another page from um, the kit one of the kits and again all of the supplies will be listed um, on my blog and the link to the blog can be found in the description box so if you have questions about any supplies I used you can head on over to the blog to get those and I also put a lot of close-up photos over there, so you can kind of see uh, see the close-up work, all the detail. So there we go. And again, uh, I would never have been the person to be okay with edges like that, but I am loving it and I am embracing it. So let's go ahead and put this lace on. Isn't this gorgeous? Ugh, I love lace. So we're gonna put that on there. And, uh, and then we're just going to be about done with this one. I'm going to use this, put this up here so I can kind of uh, see what my glue line is, as I like to call it, where all the glue needs to go. <clears throat> I think this is the last of this piece of lace, too. Love it, though. I'm going to move that down a little bit. Looks like we're a little tall, so I'm going to trim that off just a bit. Probably going to grab some of that paper. I don't really want to, but there we go. I think I'm going to make this one into a tag, though, so we will be trimming those edges. But I love, um, the, the thing I love about layers is there's just, it's sort of like the layers in this digital. So see how there's some calendar stuff and then there's images. Same here, we've got this script behind that's showing through the lace, which I think is really, really quite beautiful. So I'm going to put this in the center-ish. or I think I'm going to go low on that because that's going to be a tag. So again, I'm going to use my white glue. I'm just around the edges. I think that worked out pretty well. Goodness, if I could control my hands. Holy cow. I'm fading fast. <laughs> I just can't, can't not create, you guys, you know? I did sit in here last night and, and got all my signatures ready and pulled all my vintage paper, my music paper, and all of that to have it ready for um, putting the signature together which we'll do together on a video. I hope to have this done um, in the next uh, week and a half or so, the whole journal. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Depends on my health, but that's kind of the goal. And then we'll do the drawing at that point. <clears throat> and again, if, if you need to know the details, you can head on over to uh, well, you can see it in the video description box on Facebook as well as uh, over on my blog. So let's go ahead and cut these corners. I love this. This one I probably will put a sentiment on uh, for sure, but I'm just going to cut this corner. I'm going to just do my little, the little reverse tricky. 
and I'll probably put some sorry silk or something or maybe an eyelet I'm not sure I usually will do that off camera and then just show you uh, close-up photos at the end of the video so you guys can see what I decided to do but look at that look at that beautiful beautiful those do not look the same do they <laughs> oh well and it looks like we've got two more they're gonna go really quick so we've got this one this one was not one of my favorites but we're gonna go with it I'm gonna ink this up so a lot of these um, these bits are scraps from other things that I've done uh, either with the kit or um, just in general so this is another piece of my coffee dyed paper that I embossed on um, so it's pretty fragile it's got a little bit of gold on it which I love so we're gonna go ahead and get this stuff glued on this is another image from uh, from one of the kits I can tell you that one of them one of the kits is from uh, write out loud journals I believe uh, one is from Caroline's musings over at Etsy one is from the journal boat and the fourth one is from Liana scraps absolutely love her digitals this one is too big um, I'm going to trim that a little bit because that's just a little bit too too wild and crazy there. I don't want it to be completely off the charts there. So, so those are the four, uh, the four uh, Etsy shops, basically. Oh, that's not going to work at all. Look at that. We need to trim this off for sure because that's going to affect the next layer so <clears throat> that's better I think <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to go lay down when I'm done here catch up on some YouTube videos I, um, I'm a little bit behind I, I try to be very faithful in following people and encouraging people on their channels um, but I watch on my TV and then I have to go back and and um, post comments on my phone or at my computer so I do get behind on the commenting I've watched a lot of videos though in the last um, couple of days so I'm trying to remember how I had this I wanted that to show I think what did I do what did I do maybe we'll just improvise here and do what whatever looks right at the moment here so <clears throat> I just want to see that brown um, there on the top of that. I'm going to go ahead and trim that because it's just a little bit too too wonky. <clears throat> and I will ink the backs of these two, the edges, but I'll just do that off camera. And then I had this as a scrap and I thought we would put it on here uh, maybe like that. So yeah, I'm just going to put that right there so I have a glue line. And then we will get that on. Hopefully I'm thinking about that correctly. I don't want to cover all that green up, I guess, is what I'm, what I'm really aiming for here. I want it to show because I want to bring that green out. That's a beautiful, beautiful tones in these kits. Um, I'm, I'm guessing that they all got their hands on the same... Um, images out wherever they get all their stuff <laughs> these these creators these beautiful digital creators <clears throat> and uh, because of the the images are the same but the way that the creators have digital digitized them is different every one of them is a little bit different so just trimming that off and we've got one more and then we will be done for the day oh I love that oh, inking that up and I think I want to make this into a tall tag. <clears throat> this one I'll probably put a word on. So just get this done here. Turn that over. I'm not sure why that other tag looked so wonky, but it definitely doesn't look right. But good thing that perfection is not at play in my studio. <laughs> So anyway, guys, let me know if you'd like to see a breakdown of my organization in the studio. I 
am a, a super organized person and it really helps me in my creative journey. Um, it's it's a, a passion of mine, uh, organization. So um, I'd love to show you if you guys are interested. I don't want to bore you if it's not something that you'd like to see, but there we go. And we've got one more. And this one was the last one I decided on, and I think it is my favorite. I wish I had my brown thread, but I'm not going to fuss with it. I don't, let's see if I have a needle here that would make this. He's got some thread. I think it would be cool to um, put some thread in that button. So let me just see if I've got a needle here readily available. Not in there. I'm going to take a moment and look because I think that's worth our time today. I got one in my little container here. Hopefully. I usually have one kind of sticking. Oh, well, I moved my little box, so that's why it's not right in front of me, but I have this little foam thing that I keep out so I can just stick pins and needles in it. I'm just going to thread this up really quick and just have that ready to go. So we can go ahead and sew that button on. I think that would be fun. Well, I don't have to sew it on. I just want to sew it so it has the thread. So let's just do that as the first thing here on second thought just to kind of give it that mock button look. <clears throat> so let's just do that. So we want that. I don't think those it's going to pull through, so fiddly work is not my, whoops, just put it back through. <laughs> Oops, hole is too big. Okay. Oh, it's holding. <laughs> Am I not after I put this needle through? Goodness gracious. This might be a disaster. I can see something. It's the knot. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, we gotta try that again. <laughs> That was silliness. Let's just cut that off and try again. My knot uh, did come through that hole. It didn't look like it was going to, but this time we won't. I won't make a knot. I'll just just feed this through here. I'll just hold the end of it so we don't lose the tail. Anyway, fiddly work is not my not my forte at all. So here we go. Yep, one more in there. Oh, come on. <laughs> Just need a little more. There we go. Okay. I'm just going to try to, well, I'm not going to be able to even tie that off, I don't think, unless I can go around the, the needle here. I don't, I can't get a hold of things very well. Got it, Karen? Well, sort of. It's good enough. It's not going to come undone, which is the important part. So I'm just going to trim that off. I want to make sure that none of that thread pokes through, though, so I'm just going to snip that. So now we've got our, a button that's threaded. So let me ink these bits up, and this is our last one, and then we will be saying goodnight. Okay, there we go. This one's a really simple one. Um, I just have this vintage book page from my stash, so I thought we would use that. And then I got this little doily. I think I ordered it on Amazon. I'm not on Amazon. Etsy. Uh, but it's been ages ago, so I don't know that I can find where I got it. I'm, I might try if I remember. Put that, link that. There we go. <clears throat> and then we're going to put this piece of paper on the other side. almost want this edge to be rough, so I'm going to tear that a little bit. I love my torn edges. I think it adds a lot of um, interest to project. My fingers are sticky. Here we go. Oh, 
Okay. Yay. <laughs> I like that a lot better. I love that look. Of course, you know, do you. And I'm not going to provide measurements or anything because um, you want to make your tags and journal cards based on the size of your journal. And so giving giving measurements is really, in this case, not, I don't really think is, is necessary um, because they wouldn't, uh, they wouldn't apply in all situations. So, oh, I love that. I'm going to trim that just so it's not super uneven there when you have papers that are trying to match up a little bit. I almost like it like that better. I guess it doesn't really matter because it, it can turn. I think we'll leave this one as a journal card. So I'm just going to put this on as well, just kind of um, it's square. So I'm just going to leave it. I was thinking about doing that, but it's too big. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on as well. And again, just going to put that down so I've got my glue line. So anyway, guys, I hope that you'll check out the close-up photos and the supply list over on the blog. And again, the link to the blog is in the description box below. And uh, check out the um, details again for the drawing. I want everybody who wants to be included to be included. So. Um, we are already at almost 2,400 subscribers and we just hit 2,000. Like, it's crazy, crazy, crazy. So we're going to put that button in. This does create some bulk, you guys, so you want to keep that in mind when you're deciding this kind of thing, but I'm going to use it because I like it. We're just going to put that baby down. I'm going to hold her in place for just a second. And I will see you in the next video. Take care and happy Thanksgiving, you guys. I know it's going to already be done by the time you see this video, but um, it's the day before Thanksgiving here. So anyway, take care, guys. Bye-bye.